The shooter in Tucson showed up with two 33-round magazines, one which was in his 9mm. He unloaded the contents of that magazine in 15 seconds, very quickly. It all happened very, very fast. The first bullet went into Gabby's head. Bullet number 13 went into a nine-year-old girl named Christina Taylor Green, who was very interested in democracy and our government and really deserved a full life committed to advancing those ideas. If he had a 10-round magazine, well, let me back up. When he tried to reload one 33-round magazine with another 33-round magazine, he dropped it. And a woman named Patricia Mace grabbed it, and it gave the bystanders a time to tackle him. I contend if that same thing happened when he was trying to reload one 10-round magazine with another 10-round magazine, meaning he did not have access to a high-capacity magazine, and the same thing happened, Christina Taylor Green would be alive today. I certainly am willing to give up my right to own a high-capacity magazine to bring that young woman back, that young girl. Now, let me, let, me, let me continue with what happened that day. In that 15 seconds, or actually with the first shot, a man ran out of Walgreens, a good guy with a gun, with the intent to do the right thing, an armed citizen. He came within... He admits that he came within about a half a second of shooting the man who tackled Jared Loeffner and nearly killing him. I mean, we almost had this horrific mass murder followed up with a horrific accident. The horrific mass murder because of the high-capacity magazine and the horrific accident because of the, the, the armed person there who, with good intention wanted to end something that was that was going really bad. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Senator Graham. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh